Endover OS, the Arch user's secret weapon. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into something that's been buzzing in the Linux community. Endover OS, often hailed as the secret weapon for Arch Linux users. If you've ever been intrigued by Arch's power, but intimidated by its setup, this video is for you. We will explore what makes Endeavor OS stands out, its key benefits, and whether it could be your next go-to distro. Stick around for a hands-on look and some final thoughts. So let's get started. The Arch problem, a welcome solution. Arch Linux has a massive following for a good reason. It's all about bleeding edge software giving you ultimate control over your system. And that satisfying feeling of a building everything from the ground up. You get the latest packages, incredible customization, and a lightweight setup, tailored exactly to your needs. But let's be real, Arch isn't for the faint of heart. The big hurdle, that notorious installation process. It's all command line based, manual partitioning of your drives. Installing the base system, configuring networking, bootloaders, and every little detail. Even for seasoned users, it can be a time sink, hours or even days if something goes wrong. And if you're new to Linux or just don't have the bandwidth for troubleshooting, it can feel overwhelming. That's why even experienced Arch fans sometimes seek alternatives. They love the Arch philosophy, but want something that respects the time without sacrificing the core experience. Enter solutions like Endeavor OS, which bridges that gap perfectly. Enter Endeavor OS, the best of both worlds. So what is Endeavor OS? It's an Arch-based distribution designed to make Arch more accessible while staying true to its roots. Launched as a successor to Antegar OS, it's community-driven and focuses on simplicity without adding unnecessary fluff. One of its standout features is a seamless, guided graphical installer powered by Calamitous. Unlike Vanilla's Arch text-based adventure, Calamitous walks you through the process with a user-friendly interface. You can partition disk visually, choose your desktop environment, and get up and running in under an hour. It's perfect for anyone who wants Arch's power without the minimal grind. Endor OS delivers a near vanilla Arch experience. No heavy modifications or bootware. It ships with just the essentials, letting you customize as you go. You get the access to the Arch repositories right away. Plus, it's rolling release, so updates come continuously without major version jumps. The community is another huge plus, with an active forum, helpful Discord channels, and quick support from fellow users. You are never alone, whether you are troubleshooting hardware issues or seeking advice on tweaks. The Endor OS crowd is known for being welcoming and knowledgeable. So why Endeavor OS is the secret weapon? Now, let's talk about why so many call it a secret weapon for Arch enthusiasts. First off, it makes the Arch user repository, or AUR, super easy. Endeavor OS comes pre-configured with YA, which is YAY, a popular AUR helper. This means you can install thousands of community packages with simple commands, no extra setup required. Want the latest app secure software? It's just a search away. As a rolling release distro, it keeps you on the cutting edge, but with the stable defaults that reduces the risk of breakage. Endor OS includes tools like a package cache cleaner and an updater that prioritizes keyring packages, helping avoid common pitfalls that plague pure Arch installs. Hardware support is another win. Out of the box, it handles Wi-Fi, 
graphic drivers and various desktop environments without fuss. Whether you're on NVIDIA, AMD or Intel hardware, things tend to just work. Plus, you can choose from options like XFCE for lightweight performance, KDE for feature-rich customization or even GNOME for a modern touch. For developers and power users, it's a dream. Pac-Man package management is intuitive. And the close ties to Arch mean you can dive deep if you want, but with guardrails for everyday use. Now, hands-on. What did it look like? Alright, let's get practical. In this section, I'll walk you through what using Android OS feels like. Starting with the installation. Boot from the ISO and you are greeted by a live environment. Launch Calamaras, select your language, time zone and keyboard. Partitioning is straightforward. Use the guided option for auto setup or manual for control. Choose your desktop environment like KDE Plasma and hit install. It's fast, often under 20 minutes on modern hardware. Once booted, the default desktop is clean and functional. Take XFCE. It's lightweight with a simple panel, menu and whisker menu for quick searches. KDE offers more bells and whistles, like customizable widgets and effects, but without overwhelming you. Common tasks are a breeze. To install software, Open the terminal and type yay-s, package name. Say for example, Firefox or Steam. And about updates, yay-syu keeps everything fresh. For system snapshots, tools like Timeshift integrate easily for backups before big changes. In my demo, watch how I install a game from the AUR. Tweak the theme and check hardware stats. All smooth and responsive. No surprises, just ask goodness with less hassle. So is Endeavor OS your next daily driver? So who benefits most from Endeavor OS? New Arch users looking to dip their toes without drowning in commands. Busy developers who need a reliable, up-to-date system for coding without constant maintenance. Or anyone wanting minimal friction in their workflow. It's great for gaming, productivity, or even servers. That said, if you crave extreme customization or want to learn every command from the scratch, stick with Vanilla Arch. It's unbeatable for their hands on education and total control. In the end, Endor OS is a powerful, pragmatic choice for the modern Arch user. It captures the spirit of Arch freedom, freshness, and flexibility, while making it approachable. If you are tired of complex installs, but love what Arch offers, give it a try. Download it from the official site, and let me know in the comments. Are you an Endor OS fan? What's your distro of choice? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more Linux details. See you next time. Peace out.